Zhu Fu gathered energy in the palm of his hand and shouted, Go die. Wang Bo's hand shot out with fire, a loud noise, a violent impact. Two powerful forces collided, feeling the terrorist power of Wang Bo. Zhu Fu immediately knew that he couldn't beat Wang Bo. Wang Bo pushed out his large hand, and then a kick flew toward Zhu Fu's head, knowing that he couldn't directly confront Wang Bo. Zhu Fu quickly pulled Mary down into the water, and Wang Bo chased after them to snatch Mary back. At this time, several snakeheads emerged, wide open to bite Wang Bo and stop him. Wang Bo was annoyed by these troublesome creatures and turned them all into dust. Mary was taken by Zhuo Fu. At this time, Wang Bo couldn't go after Ki Mu and the others. He could only go and save Mary first, hoping that Ki Mu and the others could complete their mission smoothly in another place. Ki Mu and Mutu stood outside the broadcasting room, blocking the zombies from surging in. Mutu said urgently, Is Daisy finished yet? The zombies are increasing more and more. Daisy yelled in frustration. Stop apologizing. I've already used the two-handed technique. Try harder. Give me about five more minutes. Daisy was also in a hurry, muttering continuously. Annoying. Hurry up a bit, she said, and Mutu's gun was out of ammo. He said, I'm out of ammo. Kimu asked, Don't you still have a sniper rifle? My sniper rifle can only shoot one bullet at a time. That's for handling important targets. Kimu drew a knife from his side. Is your coolness effective? It's still a reliable military knife. Just don't know if Commander Wang's combat gear is bite-proof or not. Mewtwo, if one of us can survive, then pass on the message to the opponent's family. It's really a coincidence. My family only has me left. Kimu exclaimed. So you and I are the same, with no family, ha ha ha. Then we can still fight for something. Kimu chuckled and said, So, for ourselves, for the country, we fight. Mutu also smirked and said, Okay. The two immediately rushed towards the zombie horde. Suddenly, the zombies seemed to stop as if receiving some command, standing still. A moment of silence filled the air. Kimu furrowed his brow and asked, Why did they stop? Mutu also felt a bit strange. Could it be that they don't find us appetizing? Behind the zombie horde, a voice sounded. They are just being controlled by our intention, unable to act. It's been a while since I've heard such powerful screams. Mutu shouted in horror. Who's talking? A moss-covered zombie king slowly stepped forward. You two had some courage, but a bit foolish in the head. You entered my territory without knowing who I am. Others have given me a title, and I quite like it. Great Emperor Rose. It sounds very powerful. Kimu cursed. Damn it, it's him again. It seems we have no chance of survival. Mutu took out a sniper rifle from behind and smirked. Just in time. My sniper rifle is ready for the zombie cane like him. A headshot. Great Emperor Rose said, Give up resistance. I like you. You can become zombies. Become my followers. How about that? Mudu said coldly, Stop dreaming. You're going to die. With a bang, the bullet shot out was caught in the palm of Great Emperor Rose's hand. Both looked at this scene with wide eyes. Isn't right, this guy can actually catch the bullet. Your minds really have problems. Do you really think this thing can kill me? Inside the broadcasting room, Daisy kept muttering, Hurry up, hurry up. With a loud noise, the door flung open. Daisy turned back and scolded. Annoying, just a little more. Great Emperor Rose smiled. Little girl, your two companions have surrendered to me. Near Zuofu, he tied up Mary and asked her with a snake-like tongue. Little girl, since you came here, you have been crying. Don't you really feel tired? What is the background of that man? I am only interested in this person. Mary replied weakly, I don't really know him. He is my cousin's boyfriend. I don't know much about him. She looked at a few zombies, eating people in front of her and said, Please, can they eat after they kill me? I don't want to be eaten alive like that. Zuofu chuckled, Don't worry, I don't plan to eat you. I want to wait for that man to come and save you. At this moment, a hurried zombie ran in and shouted, Sir Zuofu, he's here. Zeninsky from Kexi Nanfang has led a team of soldiers to our territory. Zuofu muttered, he really likes to show off. Outside, a soldier with a weapon stood solemnly, and this group was all zombies, and the one wearing the commanding uniform was Zeninsky. Zuofu walked outside and mocked, can you stop being so afraid of death? 
Every time you go out, you bring so many bodyguards with you. Zeninsky coldly replied, Stop wasting your words. Before, I told you what I thought. If we just sit and wait for Great Emperor Rose to kill us sooner or later, our powers will be useless. Even if we team up to deal with him, it's not like we want to strip off his skin. But now, there's a turning point. Our opportunity has arrived. As he spoke, Zuofu approached Zeninsky, who quickly covered his nose with his hand. Can you not get so close like that? I'm about to suffocate. Zuofu continued without caring. Today, when I planned to sneak into their stronghold to gather information, I encountered a very powerful individual. He is both a human and a zombie king, and he can even transform into a second form. His power is completely superior to mine. If we really are in danger as you said, it's like having another stronger enemy. We will be in even greater danger. Don't worry, I will capture them and use them as hostages. We can use them as leverage. Upon hearing this, Zeninsky immediately asked, You said there are his accomplices on your hand as hostages? So where is he now? I'm not sure about that. He's Chinese, and I can't communicate with him at all. Just then, there was a loud explosion. Zeninsky turned to ask, Is that the guy you were talking about? Wang Bo then broke open the underground sewage tunnel and charged up, effortlessly taking down several zombies along the way. As soon as he set foot on the ground, Zeninsky immediately ordered his soldiers to take down Wang Bo. Wang Bo stood calmly and said, You dare to wield your axe in front of me with such low skills. With a swift motion, Wang Bo rushed forward, using his fiery fists to strike the zombies as if they were mere paper. In his mind, Wang Bo planned to catch the enemy. I must first catch the king. First, take care of the two big ones and then go rescue Mary. Wang Bo opened his palms and unleashed the great strength Vajra Palm, aiming straight at Zhu Afu and Zeninsky, causing a loud explosion and a cloud of dust. Wang Bo looked ahead in praise. You're quite courageous, yet you still couldn't withstand my full force attack, Zeninsky said. This name is really powerful. Wang Bo thought. It seems that we cannot use strong methods. Then he started to provoke. Where have you taken Mary? If you don't tell me, I won't hesitate to tear this place apart and slowly search for her. Zulafu looked down at Zeninsky and asked, What is he talking about? Zeninsky, unsure, said, from his tone, he may be asking where the woman is. He turned to his subordinates and asked, Is there anyone here who can speak Chinese? A zombie came forward and said, I know. With a quick movement, he was decapitated. Zeninsky took the zombie's brain and chewed on it. After a while, he spoke in Chinese. I advise you not to be aggressive. Even if you kill two of us, no one will know where the woman is. Wang Bo remained silent and thought. The ability of zombies is really convenient. Eating brains allows them to understand a language. Zeninsky continued. Or how about this? You go deal with the great Emperor Rose. Bring his head here to meet me. We will exchange the person with one hand and the head with the other. With your ability, this shouldn't be difficult. Sooner or later, these zombie kings will all be killed. It's just a matter of timing. Killing anyone is the same. It's not impossible, but how can we be sure you won't deceive us? If I take a step forward and you step back, then what? Rest assured, this is a deal. Furthermore, this deal is not bad for either of us. Hearing this, Wang Bo immediately struck a deal at the Kremlin Palace. Ki Mu, Mutu, and Daisy were tied up and asked, Why did you bring us here? Don't be tense. I really admire the courage of the three of you. For someone with ability and courage, I still appreciate how you rely on me and dominate Russia with me. The three stared at Great Emperor Rose without responding. Asking that, it's really hard for you. So let's change the question. Do you think you can kill me with these toys? This time, Daisy couldn't help but get angry. What toys? You don't understand that these are the most deadly weapons. Our country has researched them for zombies. Just open them for a few minutes, and you will all die for me. Great Emperor Rose looked down at the device and couldn't help but feel intrigued. Maybe we can take advantage of them a bit, he said. If your weapons are truly effective, let's collaborate. Let's deal with Zuofu and Zeninsky together. With a loud bang, the wall burst open. Wang Bo emerged from the smoke and debris. Great Emperor Rose pointed at Wang Bo and instructed, Another one has arrived. Capture him. Wang Bo, feeling annoyed, exclaimed, Damn it, 
another one. Wang Bo immediately charged into the midst of the zombies and began decapitating them. Rose looked at Wang Bo and muttered, This human is not like them. After dealing with the zombies, Wang Bo looked ahead and said, So that's great, Emperor Rose. Without much thought, Wang Bo rushed towards him. But Great Emperor Rose's body split into five and seven. Wang Bo looked around in astonishment, but couldn't find Rose anywhere. Then, above him, Great Emperor Rose crossed his arms and smiled. Young man, your strength is not bad, just a little slow in speed. Wang Bo didn't say anything but leaped up and threw a punch, but Rose's speed was not slow either. In the blink of an eye, Wang Bo's face darkened slightly. Behind Wang Bo, Great Emperor Rose raised his elbow and heavily hit Wang Bo's back, making a loud noise. Wang Bo slumped to the ground. Not finished yet, Great Emperor Rose kicked down heavily. Wang Bo immediately opened the zombie cane form to resist. Great Emperor Rose looked at Wang Bo in surprise. Very dangerous, almost died there. Great Emperor Rose stepped back and said, Interesting, so far, you are still a worthy opponent for me. Except for Zuofu and Zanensky, I will take you seriously next. I hope you don't disappoint me. Wang Bo silently swallowed some saliva. Great Emperor Rose has now also opened the second form. He once again rushed towards Wang Bo, making a loud noise. Wang Bo raised his hands to resist the power, creating a thunderstorm. Wang Bo muttered in horror. Such great power. After the confrontation, the two separated. Wang Bo asked in his heart, Xiao Mo. Check a bit, see what level he is, and who his master is, the zombie king's supreme being. Wang Bo gritted his teeth and cursed. What? No wonder it's so difficult to deal with them. The great emperor rose suddenly shouted, Enough, we don't need to continue fighting. Wang Bo suspiciously asked, What's the meaning of this? Did Zuofu and Zaninsky send you here? Your strength is not bad, but trying to eliminate me is still far from enough. However, I don't have any intention of fighting you. Your companions are still alive and well. As he spoke, the great emperor rose pointed behind him, and Wang Bo shouted, Hey, are you guys still alive? Are you still human? Ki Mu and the others couldn't help but grimace. We are still alive. Wang Bo isn't human. No wonder he can fight the zombie king. Seeing that the three of them were fine, Wang Bo turned to great emperor rose and said, You really don't intend to fight, looking at your appearance. Do you want to cooperate with me? In that case, you have already compromised. Don't help those two beasts anymore. Help me. Together we will handle them. Earlier, even though I wasn't at full strength in my current state, you can take a direct hit from me. Not many people can do that. So let's join forces, along with your gang. They will definitely die. Wang Bo raised his hand to stroke his chin. Interesting. Your opponent also spoke to me like that. You better clarify first. Right now, both sides see me as a tool for attacking. If you want to play me, forget it. I will tell you everything. Before I die, I was a special forces captain of Russia. My former name was Vans. I have executed countless missions for the country. My final action before retiring was to catch the leader of the terrorist group Zaninsky. I have been battling Zaninsky for many years. I can say we are old acquaintances. During these years of battle, his siblings were all eliminated by our people. But we did not feel an ounce of pity, because his relatives were just like him. Their terrorist ideology has caused the death of countless innocent people. Finally, Zaninsky was arrested and awaited trial in prison, which I completed the mission and retired. Rose continued, Next, I lived a happy life with my wife and children. This period of time was the happiest in my life. But unfortunately, Zaninsky was about to be taken to the judge. Chaos had broken out everywhere, with people and zombies running wild and the prison was no exception, with inmates infected with the virus causing havoc. Zaninsky looked outside and muttered, What's happening? Why is it so noisy? At that moment, a zombie rushed towards him, and Zaninsky, not understanding what was happening, shouted, What? What the hell is going on? Release me from these handcuffs. Unable to escape due to being handcuffed, Zaninsky found himself surrounded by zombies until Zuofu and a few other inmates fought them off and saved him. Wanting the protection of Zaninsky, Zuovu asked for his help, to which Zaninsky agreed. Outside the concentration camp, the shouts of the soldiers never stopped. No need to crowd. Please withdraw in an orderly manner. Reza held Van's hand tightly in fear. Dad, I'm so scared. 
Van smiled. Sweetheart, don't be afraid. We have a military officer here to protect us. We'll be safe. At this moment, a cheerful soldier ran over and shouted, Captain Vans, young man, it's been so many years, and now I see you. Isn't this all because you recommended me back then? Captain Vans, please follow me this way. We'll give you a jeep. That way it'll be less troublesome. Thank you. The people saw Vans being treated like this and couldn't help but be dissatisfied. On what basis do they have privileges? Our lives aren't worth anything. A soldier with a gun in front shouted, Don't crowd, line up in order, don't create chaos. Watch your head. Give us an explanation. Out of the way. Military attacking people. Military is so terrible. We'll keep fighting. Stop for me. Vans, oh Vans. You caused more trouble for us. It's really inconvenient. What can we do? You were taken care of by me even less that year. For you, when you're on military missions, that's the thing to do. The soldier led Vans to a car and invited him to get in. So we'll go ahead, wishing you a safe journey. The car quickly left, then outside the royal grounds, the military jeeps stopped for a rest. Reza asked, Dad, where are we going? Vans patted the girl's head and replied, We're going to a very safe place. At that moment, several grenades were fired at the convoy, and there were loud noises. Vans quickly shielded his wife and child, and then he became unconscious. Seeing his wife and child were lying quietly, he tried to crawl towards them, but eventually passed out from exhaustion. When I woke up, I never had so much hope. If I had been killed by the rocket at that time, how much better it would have been. Vans opened his eyes and sat up groaning. My head hurts so much, it feels like it's about to explode. He looked around a bit dazed. This is a military camp. At that moment, Zufu's voice rang out. Are you awake? Vans reacted by looking ahead, his face turning pale. His wife's hands were tied with a knife held against her, surrounded by criminals who had just abused her. Her expression became lifeless. Zuofu rubbed Van's wife's chin and said, Taking care of a noble lady is truly something others envy. As he spoke, he leaned in to kiss her, and his wife trembled as she pleaded, Please, you must save our daughter. With a scoff, Zuofu made a cut on her neck. Vans angrily shouted, You beast, I will kill you. Next to a door, Zanetsky tied Reza to a chair and pulled her inside. Captain Vans, your spirit is still strong, isn't it? It seems that not even a rocket can make you back down. But a strong man like you has never shed a tear on the battlefield, yet lost control in front of the enemy because of family. Truly a good man. To reward you, let's see what I have brought for you. Reza Jin pleaded, Dad, please save me. Vans yelled, Zeninsky, you dog, how dare you touch my daughter? I will kill you now. Zeninsky laughed heartily, ha ha, you still make me so happy, Captain Vans. Meeting you is the luckiest thing in my life. Without you, my life would be missing many interesting things. Ha ha, ha ha. Vans's face was extremely angry, but quickly turned pitiful. Please spare my daughter. You can do anything to me, but don't hurt my daughter. Ha ha. I really want to let my brothers and sisters who are already dead see your miserable face now. It's a pity that they are all dead, and you are the one who killed them. But now I have new brothers. I remember they also liked girls. Right, my brothers. The criminals on the side cheered, I really like girls. Yes, yes. Zeninsky continued, So maybe let your daughter be taken care of by my brothers. Maybe your daughter will really like it. Reza trembled, tears streaming down from fear. Vance pleaded desperately, Please don't. Suddenly a gun fell in front of him. Without hesitation, Vance immediately drew his gun and pointed it straight at Zeninsky, threatening, Let us go, or I will shoot you dead. Ha ha ha. I'm not that foolish. This gun only has one bullet. Now you have two choices. First is to kill me. Then my brothers will retaliate, and you will witness your daughter being trampled. Second is to commit suicide. Then you won't see anything. Vans removed the magazine to check and found that there was indeed only one bullet. He felt devastated inside. How could this be? Vans looked at his daughter with a heavy heart. It's okay, sweetheart. Daddy is here. It's okay. Daddy loves you. Reza smiled gently and nodded. Then a splatter of blood burst out. Unexpectedly, Vans had killed his own daughter. Perhaps he didn't want to see her being trampled by those men. Zininsky cried out in horror. I can't believe he would do that. It's truly despicable. He can no longer torment his beloved daughter anymore. Zuofu said, 
You're such a fool. Now he's killing his own daughter, and it's still not satisfying. Right ha ha ha. At this point, Vans was furious. He immediately pushed Zuofu to the ground and continued to hit him relentlessly. Zuofu was being beaten so badly that he couldn't even scream for help. A man who was about to shoot to help Zuofu was stopped by Zaninsky. Wait a moment, we can't kill him. We need to slowly torture him, but we should quickly take him away. You're about to die. The group quickly pulled Vans away, and the other man raised his gun and shouted, I told you to stop right there. With a loud bang, the butt of the gun hit Vans in the head. Vans now seemed to have gone mad and didn't pay attention to anyone around, continuing to hit Zuofu's face repeatedly. After a while, a few people finally managed to control Vans, dragging him out, and Zuofu's face was completely distorted at this point. Zedinsky clapped and said, Impressive. No wonder he's from a military background. It took so long to stop. A man shouted, Hey, you've almost beaten our guy to death. You have to explain to us. When someone talks to you, you're so rude. Give us some reaction, right? This is no fun anymore. Van's face remained indifferent and didn't bother to react. At this moment, a low voice spoke. Your hatred is enough to turn you into a super powerful zombie king. Zaninsky looked around and exclaimed, Who is talking like that? Getting no response, Zaninsky told a young man, Go outside and check. The bald head shouted and then went outside to look. Suddenly, his eyes widened. The people outside were lying motionless in a pool of blood. At that moment, a figure in purple slowly walked in and said to Vans, I need to summon some strong subordinates. As long as you are willing to accept my trial, I can give you a power that everyone will fear. Zanensky was shocked and turned around to look. When did he appear? The bald head rushed into the big hall. Boss, it's not good. Everyone outside is dead. Zaninsky was shocked. What it can't be? Who did this? Vans finally looked at the man in the purple robe. He mentioned power. Did he really kill everyone outside? Vans replied, As long as you can handle Zuofu and Zaninsky, whatever you say will happen. Zaninsky regained his composure and pointed at the man in the purple robe. Quickly, kill this man with an unclear background. The gang immediately fired their guns at the man in the purple robe, but the bullets seemed to be fixed by some kind of force field and did not move. Zaninsky's face turned pale and he shouted, this is impossible. The purple shirt suddenly tightened around Van's neck, and a sharp-toothed grin appeared on the face of the person in the purple shirt. He clasped his hands behind his back and slowly walked towards Van's, while the other henchmen scattered and Zaninsky had a cut on his neck, with fresh blood gushing out. Van stood up and stared at Zaninsky, then turned ass. Who are you, really? The person in the purple shirt suddenly tightened his grip around Van's neck and said, Now I will inject a virus into you. If you can survive the five layers of the virus, you can become a super zombie king. But if you can't resist the layers, you can only evolve into a supreme being and still fail. The finger of the person in the purple shirt pierced Van's neck and a stream of blood began to flow out. Van's looked towards Reza, his consciousness becoming fuzzy as images and sounds kept swirling in his head. Van's, our family is all dead. It's you who killed them. Van's, save the girl. Vanza's consciousness gradually plunged into darkness, the sound of the purple robe echoing incessantly. I can give you power, so you can become a super zombie king. I can give you power, supreme being, power, supreme being. The sound constantly lingered in Vanza's head, until his consciousness completely fell into darkness. After a while, Vanz turned into the silent zombie king. Gazing at the desolate city, the sound of the purple robe said, Are you awake now? How do you feel? You have surpassed humanity now. But sadly, you can only endure the torment of the four layers, which means you are not qualified to become my subordinate. Who are you? Why you have such great power? I am not qualified to know who you are. I can tell you that Zinensky and Zuofu have also been infected by the virus, and now they may have revived. But now, I have to go to China. So you have to handle your own affairs. So can you tell me your name? The purple-shirted man smirked. You can call me the Zombie King, he said. Then, I found them, and a large battle ensued, too many to count. Finally, Russia was split into three powers, the only reason being the alliance of the two of them. We are only reluctantly resisting now, but your appearance has broken this stalemate. Wang Bo pondered, it seems you are also a person with a bitter fate, so it turns out that Russia also has such a powerful zombie king. Wang Bo thought for a moment, 
Moreover, that zombie king also went to China. Could it be that there is an even more powerful zombie king in China than the sovereign of this country? Wang Bo remembered and asked, No, I just realized that you also know Chinese. The great emperor Rose replied, In the military school, Chinese is also one of the required subjects. Wang Bo turned to ask the three, What do you guys think? When he turned around, he saw the three of them keeping their distance from him. Wang Bo asked inquisitively, Why are you running away like that? Ki Mu quickly replied, We all follow your command. Sorry for being too hot-headed next to you. You have made your decision, and we have told you everything. Can you help us now, even though I understand your situation, but you are still a zombie, and our positions are not the same? The great emperor Rose nodded, I understand. My biggest wish now is to handle both of them. A zombie is a soulless existence, so it's better to eliminate all, including myself. My family is already gone, and I don't want to live anymore. The zombie soldier wanted to say something, but stopped. Wang Bo silently looked at Rose for a moment and said, I really want to agree with you, but we are still in the hands of our enemies. I cannot act freely with you, otherwise my comrades will be in danger. Moreover, with your strength, why can't you seek revenge during this time? Because Zeninsky and I are at the same level as zombie kings. Furthermore, he has two very difficult abilities to deal with. He can read the news of others or enter the zombie's brain. Furthermore, he can manipulate the shared vision and consciousness of zombies. No matter how we search for his whereabouts, he will always evade us perfectly. And Zufu has many lower-level zombies. I can't do much about him. I have also fought with both of them, which was quite difficult. Moreover, I want to save my comrades. The condition they have given us is to exchange your head. So, to save my comrades, this is the only thing I can do now. Therefore, you have no way to seek revenge anymore. Great Emperor Rose raised his hand to stop them. Wait, there is actually another way to resolve this. Wang Bo furrowed his brow and listened quietly to him. Say, aside from speed and strength, I am a hundred times stronger than an ordinary person. In fact, I have an ability that they don't know about. What do you think of this move? The people were amazed by Great Emperor Rose's move. Wang Bo, I think we have a strong chance of winning this time. We all think this move is impressive. Wang Bo smirked and said, Good, let's go and defeat them before they can react and save Mary. At that moment, Zhu Fu was gnawing on a human hand. Boss, do you think that kid can defeat Great Emperor Rose? No matter which side wins, we will be the ones benefiting. It's best if that kid wins. When he comes back, his power will be at its limit, right? That's when we will take advantage and our strength will increase even more. Zumafu chuckled and looked at Mary. I will keep this human woman for myself. It's been a long time since I've tasted the flavor of a human woman. Listen to me. Don't panic. Mary said, trembling. At that moment, the roof suddenly exploded and Zinensky exclaimed, What's happening now? Wang Bo brought down a bag and replied, Don't be tense. It's me. Zinensky fell silent. You didn't enter through the main door. Why did you cause such a big commotion? I thought the great Emperor Rose had passed through here already. Wang Bo smirked. I think he's run out of chances. What do you mean? Couldn't it be? Wang Bo lifted the bag. You're right, this isn't what you were looking for. Zulafu and Zininsky were shocked. What, did you really deal with him already? Ha ha, look at your disbelieving faces. I'll show you. Wang Bo dropped the bag and the head of the Great Emperor Rose was revealed. It really is the Great Emperor Rose. Damn it, he's still strong, isn't he? I've really got it now. I've handed over his head to you. Can you return the favor to me now? Zeninsky looked at Wang Bo with some suspicion. Why does he not look at all injured? Or is he just trying to endure the pain? He nodded and replied, Of course, your companion is not injured at all. You go and take her, all right? I hope you won't play any tricks. Wang Bo slowly approached Mary, who was still sobbing uncontrollably. Wang Bo comforted her, saying, It's okay, let's go. Behind Wang Bo, Zeninsky opened his hand and wanted to restrain him. Zulafu held up the head of Great Emperor Rose and laughed maliciously. He, my dear friend, who would have thought, Your whole family has died at my hands, haha, <laughs> everyone in the family must be complete, so let me think. Maybe I could use your head as a toilet for me. How about that? Of course, we can still party now. Ha ha ha. Is this an illusion? Earlier, 
I thought I saw a slight movement in this guy's eye. At this moment, under Zuifu's feet, the ground rose and the body of Great Emperor rose pierced through the ground, landing a heavy blow on Zuifu's chin. He was shocked and exclaimed, You're still not dead. Zeninsky heard this and turned to look. Rose's hand held his head and then attached it to his neck. Finally found you. Seeing you alive like this, I feel more uncomfortable than when I was alive. Zininsky was sweating and exclaimed, No, you're not supposed to. Behind him, Wang Bo suddenly swung his arm and unleashed the great strength Vajra Palm straight into his back. With a loud thud, Zeninsky sank deep into the ground. He angrily got up and shouted, You rotten brat, how dare you play with me? Great Emperor Rose sneered. Such a thing, it's not the first time you've done it, is it? Why can't I retaliate against you once? If you hadn't taken action first, I wouldn't have ended up like this. No wonder we couldn't find you for so many years. Even a cat looking for a mouse wouldn't actively go down the drain to find you. In such a dark and damp place, it truly suits the two of you. Don't blame us for causing chaos in your happy family after all. We are still looking for the main door, want to leave. But there is no door here. Zeninsky angrily laughed out three words. Good indeed, it's still you. Ha ha, ha ha, only you can make me feel excited. Behind Great Emperor Rose, Zuofu slowly stood up and suddenly grabbed him, causing Mary to scream in fright. Ah, be careful. Zeninsky laughed. Ha ha, you're too careless. Suddenly his face froze, only to see Great Emperor Rose automatically dissipate his body, causing Zuofu to miss his grab. Zuofu was shocked and asked, How can your body self-dissolve? Zeninsky with his mouth wide open in amazement, said, he's hiding his abilities again, and he has such abilities. That's why he pretended to die just now. We've just made a deal. He quickly shouted, no, Zuofu, we need to hurry. Before he could finish his sentence, he noticed Wang Bo was waving his arms and attacking Zeninsky, who quickly crossed his arms to defend against it. Wang Bo yelled, do you want to leave? Didn't we just talk about it? Dream on. Zuofu anxiously turned and shouted, Boss! The great emperor rose floated behind him and said, You should worry about yourself first. For what you did to my wife and child, I will make you pay back a thousand times over. When that time comes, even if you want to die, it will be a luxury. Zuofu silently muttered, Despicable. Wang Bo turned around and pushed Zaninsky back, then said to Mary, Find a place to hide, quick. Mary grunted twice and looked around but there was nowhere to hide. Zininsky took off his coat and said, I am truly amazed. You are human, yet you possess such power. I should also use my full strength. With a snarl, he quickly transformed into his second form. Wang Bo smirked. Come at me. What are you afraid of? Both of them leaped towards each other, throwing punches. On the other side, Ki Mu and Nu Tu looked at Daisy and waited. Daisy, how are you doing over there? I am almost finished, just waiting for Wang Bo to give the signal. It's only by giving the signal that we can finally know what to do. Anyway, we are now stationed in the enemy's camp. Ki Mu helplessly ran his hand through his hair. I hope they can hurry up a bit. If they get caught, it's over. There are only zombies around here. But why do I have a bad feeling about this? Right at this moment, a strong tremor shook the surroundings, and all three faces turned pale in shock. What's the situation? Oh, it's an earthquake, isn't it? This must be the signal, causing such a big commotion will lure the zombies here. Kimu looked around and replied, No, it's not. It's already here. In front of them, a horde of hungry zombies was staring at them, and Mutu urged, Let's go quickly. Run, find the broadcasting room. Kimu remembered the words of Great Emperor, Rhodes from earlier. Zufu wants to summon a large number of zombies. It must be similar to the radio station. That way, Zuofu could send out a signal to gather. Wang Bo, and I will give you the signal, and you can act after receiving it. Mutu and Kimu kept lamenting. Why do we have to cause such a big commotion? We don't need to be extreme like this to attract zombies. On the other side, after a series of confrontations, Wang Bo and Zininsky separated and then collided with each other. Zininsky punched him. Wang Bo retaliated with a blow and the strength of both sides seemed evenly matched as they momentarily engaged in a struggle, unable to gain an advantage over each other. At this moment, Zeninsky suddenly kicked upward, forcing Wang Bo to lean back to avoid it, then kicked down with force. 
Wine Bo rolled back and created some distance between them. He gathered his strength and unleashed a powerful strike. Great strength, Vajra Palm. But Zaninsky didn't resist, instead, he bent down. In that moment of vulnerability, Zaninsky grabbed Wang Bo's arms and headbutted him hard in the chin. But Wang Bo reacted swiftly and kicked Zaninsky hard in the stomach, pushing him back. Wang Bo felt a bit difficult to deal with this person. You almost fell into his hands, as Great Emperor Rose once mentioned. Your strength is almost equal to his, young man. Why are you afraid? You shouldn't be like this. Afraid of a monkey, I just doubt. Why are you so strong, but still planning to let Zulafu retreat? Why? Although I'm not afraid of any of you, Zulafu's power is not on the same level as mine. As long as one of you can handle Zulafu, then it's not like I'm fighting two at once. With the current situation, it's almost similar to what you predicted. But why aren't you scared at all? It seems that the situation is not as bad as you think. Where does your confidence finally come from? Wang Bo had a premonition that something was not right. Perhaps this person is still hiding his true power. Zanensky didn't even smirk, while on the other side Zhu Fu was no match, continuously being beaten by Rose, with his mouth full and being trampled. Zhu Fu lay limp on the ground. Rose said in a low voice, Geb, I haven't hit you enough yet. Zhu Fu struggled to get up and said angrily, Despicable, I can't beat you or can't bite you anymore. As Zhu Fu was about to lunge forward, he was knocked down to the ground by a blow from Rose's arm. Zininsky stood by watching and not making any moves. Wang Bo said, It looks like the fight on the other side has ended. Zhu Fu now unable to stand, begged Zininsky to save him. Don't worry, once I'm done with you, the next one is Zininsky. Zininsky grunted and then swiftly darted past Wang Bo, who was astonished, saying, I didn't expect his speed to be so fast. Zininsky rushed towards Great Emperor Rose, delivering a powerful blow and then stepping back. Zuofu mumbled in his mouth, Master, please save me. Zininsky looked down at him and replied, Your head has already exploded. There is no time to save you anymore. Before Zuofu could say anything else, Zininsky's eyes suddenly lit up. You shall become a part of me. Finishing his words, he plunged his hand into Zuofu's body. Wang Bo was shocked. This guy is even absorbing Zuofu too. As he thought, Zuofu's body was slowly being absorbed by Zaninsky, and in a short time, Zaninsky's body had become larger and fatter, with wriggling bumps all around that were extremely disgusting. He raised his head and let out a loud scream, his power bursting out from his body. Great Emperor Rose raised his hand to block the force of the wind. It feels a bit difficult to deal with. Zaninsky looked at Great Emperor Rose and said, Let's have a little fun together. Wang Bo was caught off guard from behind, as Zaninsky easily knocked him back. The recent collision made Wang Bo realize, this guy's strength has increased significantly, at least several times more than before. You like to play sneaky tricks, but now, this move doesn't work on me. Great Emperor Rose reminded, Wang Bo, be careful. Zaninsky has absorbed the energy of Zombie King Zuofu which is not something we can easily deal with anymore. At this point, Rose looked at Zaninsky as if she had discovered something and changed her tone. Wang Bo, let's use all our strength to attack together. After all, Zuofu is the zombie king. Although Zaninsky has absorbed him, the strength of the zombie king is not so easily digested. His current state proves that his body is extremely unstable. So if we attack him together, he will explode and die. Wang Bo nodded and said, Yes, just now it was his hand. Zininsky asked, So what if it was? Without a word, he continuously controlled the spikes to attack. Wang Bo was forced to constantly dodge, saying, Annoying, totally inaccessible. While Wang Bo dodged and calculated, the other side was also being attacked by spikes. Great Emperor Rose analyzed his body, then struck a powerful blow to the spikes. Zininsky's body trembled and it would take some time for him to fully integrate Zuofu's power. Wang Bo shouted, Great Emperor Rose, let's take advantage of this opportunity and attack. Rose said, Capture Zaninsky. Let me personally end all of this. Zaninsky was taunted. Haha, Great Emperor Rose, you've become the zombie king, and you're still so naive. Rose frowned and asked, What do you mean? I have prepared a big gift for Great Emperor Rose. He waved his hand, and a small footsteps approached. 
Seeing the small figure, Rose's spirit became agitated. Zininsky raised his eyebrows and asked, Is this feeling familiar to you? Reza, now turned into a zombie, stood there and shouted, Dad. Hearing this sound, Rose's emotions became more and more unstable. Wang Bo was stunned. Dad, could this little girl be the daughter of Great Emperor Rose? Great Emperor Rose suddenly spoke. This is impossible. I have not done anything. It cannot be. Zininsky laughed loudly. Ha ha. Thank you for saying that. Do you still remember when I woke up in front of you? Half a month before you woke up. Zininsky's face twitched for a moment. Then his eyes opened, and they had turned dark red. Zininsky jolted awake, raising his hands to his sore throat. My head hurts. My throat hurts. Why am I lying here? Zinitsky recalled that the person in the purple shirt had had his throat cut. That's right, I remember now. I'm dead, so I must be a zombie now. Ha, huh? ha, huh? it seems that even death is hoping for me to continue living. Zininsky heard a rustling sound next to him and stood up to see two zombies eating a body. The zombies heard the noise and approached Zininsky. He asked, what are you all looking at? I'm just a zombie too. The two zombies immediately knelt down in submission to Zininsky who was surprised and muttered, This is... The zombie king appeared and said, So even you have awoken. This is something I didn't expect. Zaninsky turned around and asked, Who are you finally? Don't be tense. I didn't come here to kill you. On the contrary, you are one of my creatures. Of course, aside from being my unexpected creature, another lucky person is your friend Zuofu. What, even Zuofu has turned into a zombie? No, actually, you're not like ordinary zombies. You are the zombie king. Before you stands the best proof, they have bowed down before to you. Zinitsky smirked. Zombie king. This is even more interesting than being a human. However, the zombie king also has weaknesses. Just like your friend Zuofu, he is just a normal zombie king. While you have gone through the torment of four levels, I am extremely amazed by this, but you still don't have the right to become my subordinate. At least you have to endure five levels of torment to be worthy of this and your friend seems to have the potential for that. Mentioning Vans, Zaninsky gritted his teeth. The zombie king shook his fingers. Don't be too discouraged, after all. Each zombie king has its own abilities, including you now. Zaninsky raised both hands inquiringly. What abilities does a zombie king have? He suddenly clenched his fist and smirked. His eyes turned to Vans and then walked over. The zombie king asked, So, are you already unable to resist the urge to attack? Are you worried that he can't handle the pressure of the five-tier shoe? You could be hunted by him for the rest of your life. Zaninsky replied, On the contrary, that's true. So do you want to intervene to protect him? Of course not. This is also a part of the test. If you can't overcome this, then you have no right to talk about the future. So I will help you as an examiner. With that, Zaninsky vigorously waved his fist towards Vans. And as his punch hit the ground, Zaninsky excitedly laughed out loud. Ha ha, this power is truly amazing. Suddenly, his eyes widened, and his hand was blocked by Vans. Zaninsky frowned and looked down. Are you awake now? Zaninsky struck again, but this time Vans actively dodged, and behind him sharp spikes protruded, but Vans still didn't open his eyes. Seems like it's just instinct. Zaninsky looked astonished, and he secretly glanced at the zombie king. No wonder he's not afraid at all. It turns out that's the case. It's annoying that I can't even hit him a little bit now. Suddenly, Zaninsky noticed the body of Reza, Van's daughter. Every zombie king has their own abilities. He smirked. I told you. Zombie king, it seems like you said you wouldn't get involved. So in the end, he couldn't pass the fifth layer's test, and you won't bother me anymore, right? The zombie king lifted the corner of his mouth and said, Yes, that's right. Let's have some fun, General Van's. In the future, I will continuously use zombies to unleash my own power. At that time, I will also try to deal with you, but all efforts will be in vain. Even the wounds on my face were left by you, but I won't heal these wounds. Instead, I will see them as a humiliation, a scar, and I will definitely repay you a hundredfold in the future. I have learned how to use my own power, and I also know what your weaknesses are. Great Emperor Rose, not Vans. Your love for your family is your weakness. Your daughter is your weakness, and I can manipulate your weaknesses, just like pulling the strings. In Reza's mind, the voice kept repeating, Go to your father's side. Bring him here. Go to your father's side. 
Bring him over here. In Raze's mind at this moment, only such sounds were echoing to manipulate her mind. Reza opened her mouth. Father. Zinitsky chuckled. Yes, that's it. Okay, the story ends here. How do we tell this story, Vans? Wang Bo looked at Great Emperor Rose and whispered. Not good. Great Emperor Rose's state of mind is about to collapse. Great Emperor Rose shouted. This is impossible. How can you save the little girl? How can the dead turn into zombies? Only the living can transform, right? How did you two become like this? How can you possess the power of the zombie king and not know how to use it? Zininsky is just stalling. Just a little more time, and we can fully absorb the power of Zuofu. Wang Bo Li muttered, The power of the zombie king. Ha! Huh. Zininsky shouted, No, this is the power of the gods. One of my abilities is to manipulate zombies, influencing their vision and perception, even activating their dead brain cells. I have been experimenting on the zombies and finally discovered an interesting phenomenon. The virus can control the dead body, making them perform simple actions. With enough virus injections, the dead body can come back to life in some sense, completely different from a zombie. However, any virus still needs a host to survive, and with my current abilities, manipulating the secondary virus on the body is also limited. Without the need for food, the virus will not have enough energy to survive for long, and will decay like a corpse. But if this ability is used on living beings, then humans will have unlimited access to immortality. Wang Bo shouted, Immortal humanity, have you gone crazy? Ha 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 ha, I am not crazy. It's because humans have limitations, but we are not the same. Of course, Zuofu can't do it either. Only the zombie king at our level can reluctantly manipulate this type of virus. So if it surpasses our level, surpasses the zombie king, then what? In Wang Bo's heart, he thought to himself, the zombie king surpassing the zombie king. Could it be that Jia Chun Ying collecting the zombie king's body for experimentation is for this reason? Zeninsky continued, but your daughter's situation, after all, is just a manipulated body like a puppet. Once we cut off her control, she is just a body carrying the virus. But this is enough. Enough to manipulate your daughter against your interference. To keep you at the mercy of level 4? Vans. Rose couldn't bear to hear any more and quickly rushed forward. Wang Bo shouted loudly, Great Emperor Rose, don't get agitated. Unexpectedly, Reza stood in front, trying to block with her hands. Rose quickly stopped her movement. The wind blew Reza's hair. Zininsky was just waiting for the opportunity to immediately slap Great Emperor Rose. Then he used his slap to pull Rose back, continuously hitting him. Ha ha, why Vans? Now you look like a dead dog, not resisting at all. You are doing so interestingly. Wang Bo couldn't bear it anymore. Immediately rushed to hug Great Emperor Rose away. What are you running from? Obediently let me kill you. Then let me eat you. Wang Bo shouted at Rose. You must cheer up. Great Emperor Rose. Rose said to Wang Bo, I have no way to take action against my daughter. If you can't do it, then let me. Wait a moment. We have to think of another way. Don't hurt the girl's body. Wang Bo angrily shouted. It's already time and you're still saying this. If you want to die, don't drag me along. Zeninsky secretly laughed in his heart. It seems that everything is fine. The body is gradually stabilizing. On the Kimu side, all of them are now hiding behind the fence, panting. Daisy helplessly said, It's no use. I can't run anymore. Suddenly, she looked excitedly at the house in front and shouted, Look everyone. It seems like there's a broadcasting room over there. Kimu and Nutu listened and immediately looked out. WTF, we finally found it. Daisy looked behind. The zombies behind us have followed us here. Let's hurry and go inside, but we don't know if there are zombies inside. Is it okay to go in like this? We don't care anymore. Let's just go in and then figure it out. At least there is still some cover inside. If we encounter one inside, we'll kill it. So Ulfuri hurriedly went inside and closed the glass door. No. This glass door won't hold for long. The three turned around and ran along the corridor. Mutu shouted, Ahead is the broadcasting room. Ki Mu quickly ran inside and closed the door tightly. Hurry up a bit. I can't hold on much longer. The zombies had broken the glass door and were coming up the stairs. Daisy quickly took out her computer and typed continuously. Wait a minute. I'm starting to check now. 
With a loud noise, the zombies reached the door and kept banging on it. Mutu went out to help hold the door. With a crash, the shield at the door was broken by the zombies. A sharp hand swiped past Kimu's face, making him scream in fear. Suddenly, there was no sound from behind the door. Kimu was a bit suspicious and cautiously peeked through the door. At this moment, a zombie soldier was attacking the other zombies. Kimu recognized it. These are the soldiers of the great Emperor Rose. After dealing with the zombies, the soldier entered and clasped his hands. I am a subordinate of the great Emperor Rose. We are on a mission from the great Emperor Rose to assist you. Previously, we went to another side to eliminate the enemy forces. And now that we have completed the task, we have come here. Ki Mu happily exclaimed. That's great. On the other side, Wang Bo was struggling to avoid Zininsky's attacks. You keep dodging. I'm getting bored. Suddenly, he grabbed Reza and pulled her back, silently muttering, This is not good. Zininsky lifted Reza and threw her into his stomach. Surprising Wang Bo, she swallowed it. Huh. Great Emperor Rose exclaimed in frustration, No. Zininsky gleefully rubbed his stomach. Thank you for the hospitality. Great Emperor Rose immediately rushed to attack, but Zininsky was unaffected. Taunting. Use a bit more force. Don't hold back. Before Great Emperor Rose could recover from the surprise, a powerful strike from Zininsky knocked him to the ground. Zininsky said, When fighting, you have to use force. Meanwhile, seeing Rose easily subdued, Wang Bo also rushed in and used the great strength Vajra Palm to strike. Zininsky was unfazed, standing still. Wang Bo silently cursed in his heart. Damn it, so tough. Could it be that absorption has been completed? Zininsky reached out. Wang Bo opened the supreme pinnacle to evade. Zininsky narrowed his eyes. This brat is indeed even harder to deal with than Vans. Wang Bo ran to the side and called out to Great Emperor Rose, but there was no response. Zininsky immediately struck, making a loud noise. Wang Bo hugged Rose and evaded, saying, Maintaining the supreme pinnacle state isn't sustainable for long. Zininsky is probably about to complete absorption. Currently, the great strength Vajra Palm is not very effective. What should I do now? I can only try survival martial arts. Using survival martial arts on great strength Vajra Palm. Great Emperor Rose suddenly spoke. Wang Bo, release me. I will go to hold off Zininsky. You quickly gather your comrades. Your only hope now is your comrades. If their weapons are effective, that is the only way to kill Zininsky. I can feel your strength is the same source as ours. So go, I will go to hold him off. Wang Bo thought to himself, this is indeed the best way to deal with the current situation. And my gold is not enough now. Just then, Reza's voice shouted, Father, which startled Wang Bo. And he quickly shouted, Great Emperor Rose, your daughter is not yet consumed. Zininsky, puzzled, thought to himself, Oh, why is this little devil still able to talk? Clearly, I have not controlled the girl. This must be her body's memories. When facing Great Emperor Rose, she cannot control herself. And moreover, this position is my weakest spot. Wang Bo listened attentively to the sound coming. The mouth in the stomach is correct. The mouth, it might be his weakness. Wang Bo immediately shouted, Great Emperor Rose, his weakness is in the stomach. Let's attack towards your daughter's position together. Zeninsky didn't give Wang Bo a chance to attack. He immediately reached out. Wang Bo opened the supreme pinnacle disappeared, then appeared under his feet. The palm opened and accumulated the power of great strength Vajra Palm Max, combined with survival martial arts Max. There was a loud noise. Zeninsky's belly was easily broken open, revealing Reza. Zeninsky collapsed. Wang Bo shouted, Great Emperor Rose, now is the time to take advantage and pursue. Without waiting for Wang Bo to speak, Rose rushed to Zaninsky's stomach and reached for Reza, grabbing her hand and pulling her out of Zaninsky. Immediately, Wang Bo added another blow to Zaninsky. The great strength Vajra Palm Max combined with survival martial arts Max, along with the infusion of vital energy. Zaninsky was terrified in his heart. My power, how is it being continuously drained away? At this moment, Great Emperor Rose turned around and kicked Zininsky's head, causing the headless giant body to crash to the ground. Wang Bo excitedly clenched his fist. Great Emperor Rose, we have finally dealt with him. 
Great Emperor Rose embraced his daughter and replied, Yes, after so many years, we have finally fulfilled a wish. Thank you very much, Wangbo. But even though Zanensky has been severely injured, why is his body now as weak as paper? Ah, I used some tricks at his weak points, allowing the cells in his body to decay, prolonging his suffering. You truly make others unable to see through it. Great Emperor Rose, resolve the second dimensional form with a smile. But I really appreciate you, Wang Bo. Thank you for helping me seek revenge. This time I came to Russia. Zanensky is also one of my targets. It's nothing. Now that your two enemies are gone, after fulfilling your wish, do you have any plans next? Great Emperor Rose murmured, Plans. At this moment, Mary slowly walked up to Wang Bo and said, Mary, I was too focused on the battle. I almost forgot. How are you? Are you injured? Wang Bo replied, I'm fine. I was hiding in a crevice in the rock just now. Mary asked, If you're okay, that's good. Come here quickly. It's over. Then Mary excitedly rushed into Wang Bo's arms, crying, I thought you were dead. Wang Bo was crushed by the weight of the two mountain demons, making it difficult for him to breathe. He quickly pushed out. Mary smiled. In short, it's okay now. Soon we'll be able to go home. Wait a moment, we will gather with Daisy and the others. What about you, Great Emperor Rose? We'll wait a little longer to gather with the group. I'm afraid we'll release our weapons. And by then you'll also. Great Emperor Rose smiled, looked down at the girl for a moment and replied, I will keep my promise, I will stay. Great Emperor Rose, that's not right. Vans, you don't have to stay. Through talking to you for a short time, I know you and Zuafu are not the same. You don't need to keep a promise to a stranger. We both have needs. Now you have life that is not easily obtained again. With great strength, you don't feel need to cherish it. Go with us. Come back to China with us. Van smiled. Thank you for your kind offer, but I have decided to stay. It's the end of this long and arduous battle. Wang Bo hesitated. Why is it because of your daughter? That may be part of the reason. But as I said before, I don't like my current appearance. Besides, living temporarily alone has its own meaning. Wan Bo muttered to himself, You said so at the beginning. I have made up my mind. You all should go quickly. Staying here is just a waste of time. The sooner we solve everything, the sooner we can go back home. Wan Bo couldn't advise otherwise, so he bid farewell and hugged Mary to fly away. Vans hugged Reza and sat down, waiting for death. In his mind, he murmured, I gaze at the vast sea with greedy eyes, being buried into the ground on the beach. I am on the edge, unable to soar into the blue sky. I don't know whether to resist or to flee. If I didn't have the courage to die, I also wouldn't have the courage to live. If this country, at some future time, remembers to build a memorial for me, I would agree to that. But on one condition, it should be built in the Royal Cherry Blossom Garden where my little beloved cherry blossoms are still searching for me. On the other side, the van zombie soldiers are wrestling with the zombies. Daisy shouts, We're done on our end. Now we wait for Wangbo's signal. Kimu replies, Very good. Let's wait a bit more then. The problem will come. Why didn't we make a signal at first? So now do we still wait or not? There are too many zombies outside. Even the great emperor Rose's army may not hold on for much longer. And still no movement. Are they maybe? Mutu hasn't finished speaking. When Wang Bo bursts through the wall with a loud crash, Daisy has to cover her ears. Wang Bo, Mary, you two finally came. Wang Bo responds, all taken care of, kept everyone waiting for a while. Maria apologizes. Sorry for making everyone worry. Daisy still covering her ears complains. You couldn't have entered the door. Kimu says, Mary, you're fine. That's really great. Wang Bo just noticed the zombie standing next to him. Who is this person? Ki Mu explained. This person is a subordinate of the great Emperor Rose. He and his comrades came here to help us block the zombies outside. Right, where is the great Emperor Rose? Could it be that he? He decided to stay back just as he had said before. So he is indeed a true man. I'll leave it to you guys next. My body is a bit special and may be affected by this weapon so I plan to wait outside for you all. Before I leave, I will clean up the zombies in the hallway to give everyone some time. After handing over, Wang Bo immediately asked the zombie, So, do you guys have a plan? Had your leader? The zombie replied, You guys go on. 
let me stay behind. Wang Bo opened his eyes in amazement. You can talk? That's not right. What I meant was how are you going to start? Wang Bo noticed that this zombie had a unique quality. Yes, that's right. General Vans made it very clear at the time. His words were orders, and we will follow them because we are soldiers and we must obey orders. Wang Bo showed respect to the zombie. I understand now. You are indeed unique, and furthermore, when you were alive, you were also a military officer. So everything is left to you. After Wang Bo and the others left, the zombie walked to the wall that Wang Bo had broken and looked down. Vans was holding his daughter and noticed him. So they both saluted each other. The zombie then went back to activate the loudspeaker, and the group of Wang Bo had already left outside. The sound coming from inside had a significant impact on his mind. Daisy asked worriedly, Wang Bo, are you okay? I'm fine, just a little headache. That's all. At this point, Xiao Mo said, Congratulations to the players for killing the three zombie kings. Let's calculate our total gold earnings. We're going to be rich. Normally we don't kill that many zombies, but the mission display shows that we killed two supreme beings. So this time we earned 45,634 kilograms of gold. Looking at Wang Bo's increasingly intense shaking body, Daisy asked again with concern, Wang Bo, are you okay? Did the recent sound cause serious damage to you? Wang Bo laughed out loud. Ha ha, rich now, ha ha. Ki Mu and Mewtwo thought that this guy might have gone crazy, and they were worried. What should we do now? Should we knock him out and take him away? It seems that he has been seriously injured. Knocking him out is possible, but he can also face the zombie king directly. Wang Bo struck a cool pose and winked. I'm fine, the old tiger can kill a few of them. Let's go to the Kremlin Palace and handle all the zombies inside. 